Other yellow hack guy here, back with another video, and we have some more Pokemon Go news. A lot of it, mind you. We do have a lot of Pokemon Go news. So we finished Starry Skies Part 1, and it's still going on. They're asking for Psychic types, and there's not a lot of those out right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep playing, obviously, and try to complete that, and we will come to Starry, Starry Skies Part 2 when we get a chance. Now, it is July, early July. So what that means is it's another anniversary. Another anniversary of Pokemon Go. Can y'all believe the game is still going? Now, Niantic has been in the news recently for pretty much canceling some games that they had, like this NBA game, this basketball game. There was a Transformers one. Obviously, they canceled the Harry Potter Wizards Unite a while back. But uh, yeah, there's there's lots of murmurs and rumors and things like that, but it looks like Pikmin Bloom is still not on the chopping block. And they'd be crazy to get rid of Pokemon Go. And Ingress is still there, because why not? What do they have to lose there? So, a couple of quick things. We've got Mega Rayquaza. We've already talked about that. We're not going to... We're not going to spend time talking about that. Um, but what we will talk about is the seventh anniversary. Um, I'll take a screenshot of this to add. Trainers, we're thrilled to add that July 6th marks seven years of Pokemon Go. Seven years, wow. Can't believe it. Celebrate, we're hosting a seventh anniversary party. Join us for a week of rotating bonuses, glimmering, gimme cool coins, different Pokemon appearing each day, the return of the masterwork. This starts July 6th, which Today is like the 8th, and it ends July 12th. So prepare your team. We're going to have five-star raids of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Mega raids will be Mega Blastoids. Eh. I get the Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, you know, the anniversary. But could care less about Mega Blastoids. Maybe he has the shades. Maybe it doesn't. But you do have Pokemon with the hats. For whatever reason, Bulbasaur can evolve, even though it has the party hat. But the other two Kanto starters will evolve. So that's weird. Uh, for five dollars you can get the masterwork all in one. Now here's the catch. They don't tell you that if you've already done this, you can't do it again. So if you already got a shiny Mew, you can't go ahead and get another one by doing it. And why would you want to? They made you walk 151 kilometers, catch 151. It was just ridiculous. At least you didn't have to catch all 151. They just wanted you to get a total of 151 Pokemon. So that would take a while. And I'm still not where, not anywhere close to getting the shiny Jirachi. So that's pretty much everything they have there. I've got that screenshot. That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, Pokemon-wise, the Go Fest stuff. I did pay for that, and the global one is going to be August 26th. So I will not be in New York for the regular one. That's local to my country. I know there's other areas around the world. I think Japan has one. There's probably one in Europe somewhere. It's going to be a lot earlier. Kudos to all of y'all going. Your boy will not be there, but August 26th and 27th. August is going to be loaded for me. I will be participating in all of that. This weekend we have the Squirtle Community Day Classic. Uh, it should have what you need there. Now, I don't know what the special stuff is going to be for that, meaning are they going to give you the ones with the glasses? Is it going to be The Squirtle Community Day, it was probably the best until the Gibble one. The Squirtle one was cool because you were kind of guaranteed to get a shiny Squirtle. Were you going to get the one with the glasses? That was like an extra level of shiny. And I had a lot of fun with people riding around in cars, spinning stops that we knew were guaranteed to be shiny, and then uh, going from there. So, um, I, don't, I only walked that back. I don't know if it was guaranteed to be shiny, but I think you were going to get the one with the glasses, and it had to, you had to be pretty lucky to get the one with the glasses and shiny. Whichever way it panned out, that's how it went. It was fun. The gibble would be right after that. So, uh, let's get a screenshot of this, too. Seventh anniversary party, time research. 77,777 77, XP. That's what you get for buying this. You get one incubator, super incubator, premium raid pass, one lucky egg, one rocket radar, one star piece, one incense, and an encounter with a Pikachu wearing a party hat. Man to that last one. But hey, 
It'll only be available in game until July 11th. So I've already bought that. I'm knee deep into that research as of this recording. So, you know, it's pretty neat. There was some other stuff we did in the game. There was like a rocket battle day or something like that. Like a battle day, you go into battle league, excuse me. And you get this snazzy hat that I'm wearing in the game right now. I didn't really want to do it, but I had a sense of FOMO. Uh, a couple of people that I'm playing with now, they did it, got it out the way. So your boy wanted to do the same thing. If we go into, oh, there's a whopper right here, a whooper. I've got to catch this. Again, you heard me say, the psychic types aren't really out right now. They're sparingly, so I've got to get this one live on film. As we're talking, okay, so they also want you to catch 77 Pokemon. I am working on that. Uh, in the today screen, this ends in four days, the seventh day, or seventh anniversary party time, or whatever. So you see, uh, I gotta evolve seven Pokemon. Not gonna be hard. Hatch seven eggs, shouldn't be that hard. Uh, use 77 berries, I've been slacking on that. And then catch 77 Pokemon, that shouldn't be a problem. So that's pretty much where we're at. Ends in 15 hours times two catch candy. Don't really care for that. But uh, that's where we're at right here, right now, today. What I should be doing is giving berries to all of these Pokemon that are out here that I, I don't intend to catch. But then again, it's like, yeah, catch 77. Why not catch them? I have no uh, room for Pokemon, y'all. Niantic, y'all need to do something about that. Y'all need to extend the amount. I know they're going to do it right before GoFest, but uh, I might. I need that today, fam. Today. I'm sending... I'm, I'm constantly on the lookout for zero stars to send them to Pokemon Home to make a home for them. Uh, that said, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I know it was a short video. I've got uh, more stuff I need to do. I feel like there's more footage if I go and look of things that I could have talked about, but uh, I may have glossed over that's in the game. We went over the hat. I did get the Larvesta. I finally got that. They added some new animations to some of this stuff. Like they tell you where you can put some of these Pokemon now. And that's pretty cool. They did increase the amount of Pokemon that appear regularly. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. That is pretty much everything. I'm getting these medals. I got trolled by Zerua. I had a shiny Pidgeot, who was my buddy, appear in front of me. And I got excited and it turned into that thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, I had a fun holiday. Oh, we did get Tortinator. He's got that very arrogant pose with a shell to your back and everything. We did get that and a car bank. So if I don't show those, then you know that I did at least speak to him. So I'm looking forward. Uh, here is a graphic of Hidden Gems, which is the event that's going on overall, like the time frame, right? And then it's got the July content here. Uh, we've got Mega Sableye, Mega Blastoise, Mega Blaziken, and Mega... Tyranitar, all coming in July, so in the upcoming weeks you will see that. I spoke to Articuno, we've got some more Reggie Galecki and Reggie Drago appearing. Heatran, which hopefully is gone by now, yes, July 6th. Uh, so Articuno should be here now. And uh, we've got Sableye, Beldum, Ardino, Furfru. Gumi and Noibat in the research, the breakthrough research, and then we've got, you know, like I said, the raid hours are going to be those aforementioned ones, spotlight hour, we had Rufflet, I missed out on that, man, that was July 4th, that was Tuesday, July 4th, I was not playing, I was not thinking about Pokemon Go, <laughs> I probably got a couple of them, but that was it, uh, I should have played more for that, uh, July 11th, coming up, Whalmer times two, XP. That would be good. They should have switched that. That should have been times two candy. I would have done Rhymehorn even if it was times two XP, but hey, times two XP for Whelmer, and maybe you get more excellence with Whelmer since he's got a bigger circumference to catch, and then Yungu's on the 25th of July. I'm not really caring about that. But hey, that's everything for the month that they've announced so far, so uh, stay tuned for more. Yes, your boy got a fresh cut, first time 
all year I got a haircut that I didn't do myself. There it is. Uh, that's everything. Uh, stay tuned for more content on the channel. There is more on the way. Starry Skies Part 2 for those of you watching for Pokemon Go news. And there will be some other video games coming right after this video. Other yellow hat guy. Yes, the yellow hat is here. Pixelated and all. See you in the next one. But uh, if I don't see you again, make sure you hit that subscribe, like, share. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. Other yellow hat guy is out. Captain Sensation!